Greetings, gentle viewers. We're not going to waste your time this time. That's why we're going to start by going to sleep. Hey. So we were thinking about which uh, sin Futaba is guilty of, and my vote is on grief. It's grief or nothing. Yeah, it can't be any of the other ones that we're missing. I mean, we are missing envy, wrath, sloth, and pride. And we have a pretty good idea who pride is. Right. So, I, I mean, I guess it's just one of the uh, different, older interpretations. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Symbol is symbol. If it, It's grief or nothing, because it's not like she's doing anything else wrong. Right, right. I mean, it's certainly not Sloth. She's developed quite a lot of skills. Yeah. And has been working actively to get things done. Yeah. I like how Makoto is studying. Uh, let's see. Ryuji's reading a manga and appears to be eating a hot dog, maybe? Uh, Jiro and An are both on their phone. And <laughs> it's pretty funny. And Yusuke is very slowly <laughs> eating methodically. He is savoring his meal. And Morgana's just sleeping, of course. But he's hey. a cat, so that's really all he has to do. Okay. So I guess this is same day, which is very convenient. Oh. Oh, so you set on doing this? Looks like it's my turn to unlock the entrance. Forgive me, Chief. I know you will if I purr and rub on your leg. It's true. That aside. How will we convince Futaba to let us in a room, though? Even boss is forbidden entry. You'll have to seduce her, Jiroku. No! I know, I know, I know. I want to say that I think in order to be in order to be consistent, we yeah. should. We'll be honest. I don't think it'll work, but isn't it? Wouldn't it be nice to just have somebody deal honestly with her? Yeah, like from her perspective. Right. Yes, that is the best course of action. Oh, huh? you know a method? I think it's quite straightforward. Futaba doesn't know what we're doing inside her palace, correct? Hence, if we tell her we've come to steal her heart, she'll surely open the door and let us inside. And it is the truth. What? Yeah. Wait, that that's it? She's intelligent. Futaba wants to have a change of heart. She asked for it. After all, she contacted us for that express purpose. That desire should lead her to open the door as well. You're right. That might not be that easy, but... Our feelings should get through if we just try and talk to her. Yeah. All right, I believe in Futaba. Come on, let's get this done. Hmm. An eyeball? What's this? When did it get on here? An eyeball? <gasps> the app! Huh. She's got the Persona app already! Already? The Metaverse app, rather. That's freaking oh. fantastic! So she's just doing it on her own? <laughs> Whoa, who are you? And there's her shadow. Yeah. Because I guess she can't go into her own palace. I guess not. I mean, we were wondering what would happen if it would. We, we'd actually thought she was being dragged in immediately because everyone was like, no, you can't do it here. Right. But then she didn't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we forgot about it because we were at the palace. Yeah. Huh. I am the other you. Is this some kind of hallucination? It's different from usual. How long will you continue blaming yourself and shutting yourself away from the world? How interesting! Her her shadow is trying to strengthen her in, yeah. a, in like an overtly positive manner. Yeah. Blaming myself for what? For your mother's death. Don't you think it's time you grasp the truth of that moment? What happened before your eyes? What happened to your mother? The truth. Why did you choose to rely on the Phantom Thieves? That's... Are you simply going to shut yourself in and do nothing? Are you going to avert your eyes from the true answer? <laughs> if so, I will kill them in your world. Whoa! What an interesting angle to take. If you don't get this right, I will punish them. I see. I... what should I do? We're sorry for sneaking in so many times, boss. <laughs> well, once we're all friends with his daughter... Right? ...then I don't think he's going to mind so much. Especially if she opens up and... There's no mistaking it. This is the same door as in the palace. With the ASCII face? Yeah, yeah. Hello, Futaba. 
You're there, aren't you? Please, answer us. I doubt she'd answer. Text or via text, yeah. Yeah, text is fine. Alibaba, we know you're there. It doesn't matter if it's through chat messaging, just answer us. You should have told me you were going to come here. In order to steal your heart, we need you to open this door. You get what you want. We are doing it for you just like you asked. All you have to do is let us in. We can't change your heart otherwise. Please let us in. I'm not mentally prepared. <laughs> you have to do this. That's easy for you to say. The other you within your heart told us to have you open it. We know it's hard, but everyone, even the other <laughs> you in your heart, yeah. wants this to happen for you, to help you. You reached out. You just have to accept it. It's hard, but it's the only way. Deep down, you want to open this door, don't you? The other me? Right. That ended the thing up, I just saw? <laughs> that ended up being an extremely effective thing for Makoto to say, all things considered. Right? We're trying to uphold our promise, but you're the one resisting us. Give me some time. Ten seconds. That's not enough time! That's too short! At least minutes, please! Fine, but if boss comes home, we'll kick down the door and enter if we must. Um, God. <laughs> a masterful level of negotiation. <laughs> Start like the the opening bid was nothing. And, and so <laughs> So uh meeting in the middle turns out to be pretty short. <laughs> Time's up, Alibaba. All right, I'll open it now. I had to find pants to put on. <laughs> Haven't we worn them in weeks. Her cognition. Better to be completely safe than sorry. So she has to be the one to invite us in. Okay, so... Futaba, please open the door. Maybe forcing the way in it wouldn't work. I mean, it would work, but it would be more difficult. Yeah. But, I mean, it's definitely better to convince her to yeah. do it. Man. All right, let's go in. That must have been so freaking hard. Mm-hmm. She's going to be, like, bundled up under a blanket or something. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. It, well, that's it, also a Hikokomori uh, sort of stereotype. Well, it, it reminds me of a really bad time in my life. I'm not really going to go into all the details of, but I, I was really terrified to, like, leave my own room. Mm-hmm. It didn't last a year, and I was able to get over it just fine, but it was terrible during that time. Just thinking about being seen by other people. Mm -hmm. Yep. What is this? <laughs> well, this is what happens when somebody's shut in, and it's like, you know, however long worth of trash. Yeah. I mean, I wonder if she goes out herself to get food. That, I mean, that is... No, Sojiro buys it, remember? Yeah, okay, Everyone okay. always says he buys enough for so, three people. So he just leaves it, like leaves outside it outside her door, her door and then she, that's how she gets it. She might leave him a note or text him on the phone. She's probably hiding in the closet next to Ryuji. Okay, that works. Because she's not on the bed. Right. And there's no room under it. Medical science, information technology, biology, psychology... These are all technical books. Jesus. She knows what she likes and, and happily puts forth an enormous amount of effort into doing what she likes to do. Yeah. It's like that that aspect is healthy. Mm -hmm. it, it's just she needs to... It's not like she was wasting her time or something right. like that. She just needs to accept other people, but more importantly, accept herself. Yeah, that's the, that's the big one. It all starts from that. She keeps herself cooped up in a room like this all the time? Where's Futaba? Where could she be hiding? Says the man next to the next to the closet. Yep. The closet? I mean, she was like, I'm right here. Leave yeah, me alone. Yeah. And I'm darn well not saying anything to you. She'll shut herself in to the bitter end. Hmm? But she did let you into her room. This is... This should be enough. And this is her coming up with her own way to get this done. Yeah. This is really hard on her. Even if that door's opened up, we'll get stopped again inside. Because she's put another door. Ah. So they do, they do have to actually see her. 
I bet a fence or something formed right in front of the treasure now. This, this, this makes no sense. Explain yourself. Maybe now she can hear Morgana. Uh, yeah, she can because she's got the app. Yeah. Whoa, she talked. We needed to change your cognition. Unless we do so, we can't steal your heart. I mean, ever since we realized that you're not, like, hostile or something yeah. like that, that we're dealing straight, there's no reason for us to, like, cover up what we're doing, how it works, or why. Yeah, I agree with you, but I noticed something. Look at the top left of the corner. There's another ASCII crying face. That's cute. Okay. I highly doubt she would understand it, even if we explained it to her. I disagree. Yeah. Didn't all those books just kind of... I mean, remember how Makoto dealt with it. Right? So basically, my cognition is being a hindrance, keeping you away from the core of my cognitive world? There you go. Somebody's been reading psychology as well. Huh? She understood it? Look, An, we are two of a kind. We are the morons here. <laughs> <laughs> the, the artist... And smart people had no problem dealing with this. <laughs> Why do you know about that? Who are you? Uh, of course, also, she has that app. Yeah. Mm, no, she just got it, so she couldn't have had any random, metaverse, yeah. random metaverse adventures. Not, she wouldn't go. Are you serious? Oh, although it would probably take her straight to the palace. But can you go into your own palace? I mean, probably not. But... I don't see why not. Eh? Why'd you call yourself Alibaba and make things more complicated? You. That's nope. not really relevant right now, Ryuji, but okay. They wouldn't have listened otherwise. Yeah. If you wanted help, you could have just asked for it. No, she couldn't have. That's the thing. Yeah, I mean, if she could have. She would have. Because I was embarrassed. Embarrassed. Well, shame and embarrassment are a really important part of something like anxiety. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, m my bad. I didn't catch that. Because <sighs> I was embarrassed. I mean, like that mortal embarrassment, mortal yeah, yeah. shame. I think I get it. Asking someone for help isn't that easy. Especially when you're socially... Futaba, can you tell yeah. us more? How do you know about the cognitive world? Because I knew about it. Because I get haunted by ghosts. Oh, that reminds me. Boss was talking about cognition or something before, right? Yeah, I really am curious about the details. I mean, we can't speculate anymore with any right. degree of confidence in it. We need to know more. You think this is related to how he was getting grilled by that one lady? Perhaps her mother was researching this cognitive science that was mentioned? Cognitive science with a PSI in front? Less science, more supernatural? That's important. <laughs> okay, she's pretty funny. Yeah. Well, that certainly got her attention. <laughs> it seems we're on the right track. <laughs> Less actual science, more supernatural. So, cognitive science. Futaba, what was your mother working on? How could she hear the difference in pronunciation? <laughs> well, she's just... Makoto is just actually, you know, indicating that she understood. Okay, okay. Please tell us. What happened? She's not answering. Shouldn't we do this later? She seems to have gone through some shit in the past. No, you've come this far. Yeah. You may never get another chance. It may Future chances may be harder. But she's already started. She's already yeah. talked to you guys. Yeah. True. She did say things like die hold on yeah do this it is, on this is the best thing about on futaba chan did you really kill your mother yes confront her about it whoa you moron wasn't her death an accident what actually happened maternity neurosis is that really true on we saw what your heart is like, but we still can't figure anything out. The mother that Boss told us about is completely different from your cognition. We want to hear the truth from your mouth. Even if you are inside the closet, right? saying this stuff is important, and if being in there makes it easier. Mm -hmm. My mom was... 
the one who killed her was... Yeah? Uh, it's possible that she can't remember because her heart has become distorted. Hmm, okay. Okay, yeah. I'm so sorry, Futaba-chan. I, um... A lot happened, so... I'm sorry. There! Now steal it! <laughs> <laughs> Mustering up all the courage she had in that little body and just bursting out. She, she'd clearly been trying to work herself up mm -hmm. to this, like, this whole time. Uh -huh. And finally it was just like, Ah, just go! <laughs> <laughs> it's really adorable. What's gotten into you all of a sudden? C come on, hurry it up! She'd rather go to this than actually try and remember it. Well, there... It worked! I mean, she opened the door. We shouldn't have any kind of barrier now. I mean, they're not, not connected, too, so... Right. We did come to steal your heart, but it, it's not really done right here at this moment. You're good. What you did, that was it. You got it. Peace out. Beep. <laughs> Give us a little bit more time. All you really had to do was open that closet door. I'm sorry we made you jump to conclusions. You don't have to be like that. I see. <laughs> we gotta do stuff in the cognitive world. You like that, right? Wait. No, no! <laughs> What's the meaning of this? Did you guys trick me? You explain the cognitive world stuff. No, please listen. There's a reason we had to do this. She knows about it, so she'll understand. Yeah. She's aware of the cognitive world, but it seems she doesn't understand how a change of heart occurs. That's why you gotta tell her. Um, Futaba, how much do you know about the cognitive world? I know that there's another world based on cognition, but I don't know how to get there. Well, we do. Can you guys go there? You said you saw my heart earlier. Yes, that's right. How do you do it? We the use app. a smartphone app. Yeah, and I mean, they have—they would have no reason to think that she would have yeah. something like that. But she, but Futaba, if they go there from here, they might drag her with them. Now we've already done that with Futaba. Where? I, I, that's true. That's it's true. already happened. You already got your wish with that. I know. But no, it, it's possible. But she has the app now. Yeah, I mean. it's like ever inquisitive Futaba may just be like, oh, you have a smartphone app? Bap. Yeah. Or she'll say, oh, I got that too. And everybody will be like, what? Yeah. An app? Yes. By entering the required information, we can go to the cognitive world. We didn't make the rules, okay? Right. A name, a place, and a distortion. Those three. So in this case, Futaba Sakura, Sojiro Sakura's house, and... Futaba? You don't happen to have this app, do you? Oh! Huh. Ever, Ever the smart yeah. one. I don't. Thank goodness. Okay, then. Well, I mean, she's not necessarily going to know that the eyeball is the Metaverse app. I'm pretty sure she might have thought about it. Probably, yeah. Can you take me with you, too? Why would why would Makoto assume that she or ask her that though? Well, look what's happened so far with all the victims related to the people that they've like ah uh, okay, yeah, that's okay, then no, Yusuke, point, then her. Yeah, point taken, point <laughs> taken. Pattern recognition. That's a, that's a good enough reason to assume. <laughs> or I mean at least to want to check, rather. Yeah. I mean, I'm to be honest, I'm just curious if a person can go into their own palace. I mean, that's a sort of interesting experiment well, about- Well, the shadow came here. Yeah! It will, it will be the exact same thing, right? So, why are you even asking? Of course she can't come with us. Come on, why? I disagree. Why not? I'll leave it to you then. But you gotta open the door. Good. And you better not forget about our promise, all right? Uh, don't, don't worry about that part. Hold on. Oh, yeah, almost forgot. Like, the card. Se seriously, don't you have to get that door open again? Maybe the fact that she opened it is enough. And like accepted it, I suppose. Yeah. The treasure's not gonna appear if we don't have her read this. <laughs> A calling card? Yeah, it's way better than the one that you left, but you didn't know how it worked. <laughs> it's the one you prepared. Read it. I can't read it, it's too dark. <laughs> Use your phone, open the door, come on. You could just come out. 
I promise I don't bite. Her thing. What? <laughs> I'll make sure she reads it, so you guys go on ahead. Utaba, make sure you read it, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's see. Futaba Sakura has committed a great sin of drowning in sloth. What? In sloth. I what? mean, we, you know, we were. I, what I had said was that she's way too industrious. In yeah. Her, to to have it be sloth, the person who's drowning in sloth is the one just plowing through all these books. But, I mean, that's why sloth was one of the very first things that we considered anyway. So, okay. Thus, we will rob every last bit of those distorted desires. I, I like how we will often have, like, a first instinct, and it and will then we be, go against it. And then it will be fairly correct, and then we'll just completely ignore it and, and try to make it more complicated. Oh, well. <sighs> I'm just going to say wrath right now for the next one. Just calling it right now, wrath. No. I'm going to die. Just a combination of so many, so many emotions. Mm -hmm. Good. And. Yeah. And because Futaba will be like a talking cat, oh my god. Right, right. Then. Ah! <laughs> that was great. Kitty, you again? <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, the only f the only like fifteen or sixteen year old girl in the world that doesn't like cats. <laughs> well, she did call him Kitty. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. I love this music. The palace's security level is so high, I can feel it from all the way out here. Futaba seemed totally up for getting her heart stolen. What's up with this? Hmm, something about this place really is unusual. Either way, there's only one thing for us to do now that we sent the calling card. Hell yeah, no matter what we gotta face, we're gonna take that treasure for sure. Ah, it's because Shadow Futaba's distorted desire is to die. So by that token, that would mean she doesn't want them. She doesn't actually want them, despite how much she's kind of helping them. I, no, no, you think I that might be a stretch? No, I don't think so at all. Okay. Shadow Futaba has always been trying to help us out. And then it must be her mother usurping. Kind yeah, of control. and I mean she even she even was there, sort of encouraging slash threatening yeah, Futaba. Yeah. Okay. Well, it, it's complicated and there's stuff we don't know. Before anything else, though, I will say, last two boss battles we've used both Muji and Yusuke, so this time we're having them sit out. There's really no other reason than that. <laughs> Before we get this started, there is an interesting thing that I would like to point out. Yeah. Pre previously, at this point, we have always been like, ROG! Go forth! We Phantom Thieves smash you! And like, like super enthusiastic. Yeah. But this time, you know, the, the scene right there was really, it was kind of sweet and kind of funny. Uh-huh. And so this time around, we're really just like relaxed and sort of happy. You yeah, know? yeah. And that's just completely different from the previous experiences. Yeah. I don't expect any more of them are ever going to be like this. Probably not. I hope she read the calling card. I mean, after all the trouble we went through, she damn well better have read it. Here we go. Yeah. All right, it's open. Well, yeah, Futaba-chan opened the door herself. Nice. Anyway, the treasure's up ahead. Let's finish this. Oh, I was expecting you to just be there in a closet. Finally, an elevator! For some <laughs> reason, I've really been wanting one the whole time, and every time we opened the door, I was like, elevator, but there wasn't one. Incredible. So this is the place that represents Futaba's roof. Yep, this is the heart of a hacker, all right. Anyway, where's the treasure? Oh yeah, look in the background. All the monitors. And there's and... like floating rocks. So the distortion really was just in a room. Yeah. And monitors full of data everywhere. Mm -hmm. This way. I'm getting a strong signal from above us. The treasure has definitely manifested. There's no knowing what may lie ahead, so let's be vigilant as we push towards the treasure. Oh. Yes. Huh. I wonder if there's enemies or something. There wouldn't there kind of have to not be all things considered. That would make sense, yeah. But Futaba's already indicated that she's. 
she operates in the palace kind of automatically, but that's true. Things, that's true. but things are different now. There's an enemy behind you. You've been spotted. Oh, this is different. Yeah, I just saw the mini map. Yes, yes, your breath smells bad. I get this. <laughs> Dang it! Darn, he's the one that we need not to spare. Okay. Oh, F you! Freaking knock it off! I, I, okay. I was gonna say, I can't believe we're about to lose to a bunch of Lamia. We weren't gonna lose. She's going to succumb next turn, I think. At least On is showing kindness to Morgana here. <laughs> right? This has been such a ridiculous battle. Oh, no! Whip! Oh, it resists it. Okay, that was not what we were expecting to find. I should have just iced him like I thought like I was... Originally considering. Right? Man, every time I try to do something different. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's pay attention to our surroundings now, David. Shut up, Billy! Well, we're in trouble. I. I. It just. I didn't even have a, have a chance to reorient myself. Right? They just spawned and instantly attacked you. Do we need to run from them? You ready? Time to flee! <laughs> God, there's no more Anubis, all right? Right? Anubis! <laughs> Please don't be Anubis. Oh, it's two Anubis! That's really bad. So something that I really love about this... Mm -hmm. <laughs> is, like, I'm a big fan in RPGs of completely overriding the battle music uh -huh. to replace it with, like, event music, right. which is exactly what's happening here. Right. So it's like, it makes us feel, like, more tense and more high energy. Yeah. Darn it! What do we do, David? Um, run away because it's too Anubis and I couldn't put them both to sleep? <laughs> Excellent! It's not worth it, David. It's not worth it. It's is that a treasure? It's a treasure chest. It's worth it. Oh. Uria! This this is the only opportunity we'll ever have in the entire game to open this chest. I suppose you're correct, but this is what the problem is. Oh my God! I mean, I mean. Um, Time to run away screaming, I would say. Seems like this is the boss before the boss, huh? <laughs> Isn't this the worst possible... This is the worst possible enemy uh, setup. All the more reason we should do it! Oh, God. Okay, Anubis is asleep. They're all asleep. Prepare yourself. Queen defeated an enemy. Excellent. Yes, surrender. Mm, no, you're worth the trouble. I committed to actually doing this stupid battle. <laughs> That's true. So I'll be darned if I let you talk your way out of it. Thank you. You can't weasel your way out of this. You're a dog. Now crush him! There we go! Woo! Probably harder than the boss battle. <laughs> this better be worth it. This is gonna be a worthless piece of crap treasure, isn't it? It's a balm of life. Screw you, but I want a really hard fight. Now dang yeah, it, we're getting- that, that was worth- that was worth mad props. I thought you were bone. So did I! Okay, it's time to finally take Futaba's treasure! Eh, it was all worth it in the end. 
Oh yes, that bomb of life was so worth it. <laughs> it's just, it's distractions, you know? Joker. There's no doubt, the treasure's right past this point. What may await us within? No matter what it is, we need to be ready for it. So let's go fight some more enemies and stuff. No! That's what you came here for, right? To fight really hard battles? <laughs> if I use this, I can change my heart? Vocal input. Uh, she she is. She's going to be messing with the app. Fu. Fu. Futaba Sakura? Well, you know... She is the navigator. Yeah. But yeah. Does, does she have to run around with them, or...? Why not? Well, I'm just wondering, if she does it from outside, then... No, she probably has to go she, in with She them. wouldn't be able to benefit us with their persona abilities if she was outside. Yeah. Maybe? Anyway. Uh-huh. Sojiro Sakura's house. Candidate and then... Something about distortion. 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 They didn't fill this part in for her, yeah. so she's going to fill it in herself. Mm -hmm. hmm? Not again. Oh, this is not a good place for this. No. You killed her! You're a plague! Murderer. It's all your fault! You're the one who killed her! Don't come near me! Your fault! Murderer! Did this even no. Did that even happen? Yeah! Oh wow! I remember now. And the first thing she did was bust out of her room? Yeah. She's that's, really... That's going to be where all the voices are centralized. Yeah, yeah, you're right. She needs to escape her room, which is where the distortion is centered. Back when they were here, I... And I mean, she's really had enough. Mm -hmm. She's actually standing up to this. I messaged Tomb in the chat and... Yep. Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. I can go in now? We we have been wondering what happens if you go into your own palace for some time. Time to find out. No! You're a murderer! You're the one who killed it's her! It's all your fault! Don't come near me! It's your fault! I can't take this anymore! Stand up to it! Beginning navigation. Well... This ain't what I was imagining. How could you potentially imagine something like this ahead of time? Well, it is a tomb over there, isn't it? Yeah. Were you expecting a mountain of treasure or something of that sort? Not here. A tomb is perfect because it's small and sealed up mm -hmm. and nothing can get in or out. Yeah. There is that over there. That's it? The treasure must be inside. We may still come up with something we can sell later for a party. Well, we haven't always done that. All right, let's take it. Yeah, we have. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, I would <laughs> I not... I am always careful! You know what? On second thought, Ryuji is totally the person who should open that. <laughs> He's the only person who can, who, who can easily just walk up and push the thing open. <laughs> yeah, yeah! Treasure. Oh, not this again. Put your flagpole down, cat. <laughs> oh. There's something here. I got a bad feeling about this. And Futaba? <laughs> oh. I mean, she burst out of a room, all right. <gasps> oh, oh, my God! <laughs> It's not for Taba. Don't tell me. That is amazing. A sphinx. This is insane. The palace's ruler, eh? What is it? It's a cognition. A monster that for Taba's cognition created. And it towers it over her life. Hey, yeah. Look out. <laughs> of course! Here Naturally. <laughs> oh god! Okay, this thing may be <laughs> freaking huge, but we're gonna take it out! Do not approach the Pharaoh's tomb! 
We we've already fought a giant robot. That's true. Misfortune will fall upon you. You gonna give me a riddle now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at it fly about. We can't reach it like this. We've got no other option. Let's take it down with our guns and skills. So we can't melee it. <laughs> Conveniently, I didn't bring Yuji and Yusuke. <laughs> Beast that rules the palace. Yeah. Stop moving, we want to look at you! <laughs> it really is a classic sphinx. Mm -hmm. The human head. Uh, eagle wings, lion body. Blouse, but also it's kind of like stylized a bit, especially towards it the bottom. It kind of looks like a bird. Yeah. Very nice. This is excellent. Okay. Oh. All right. Eat this. Can I critical it with this? I don't know if you can crit a boss or if that even downs it. Yeah. <laughs> I just love the tiny little special effect hitting him from a distance. <laughs> oh, I wonder if it's weak to guns. I mean, we didn't bring any particularly strong guns, but... No. Nope. No, that did okay damage. I just can't do it that often. Oh. Pew. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. And with Morgana here. Oh, 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 that's bad! Okay, so she's finally getting two turns. Yeah. No, okay, no, the last boss. Yeah. Kaneshiro did as well. Alright. Persona! Alright. And then here. And fortunately, Morgana just learned Mediorama. How? Fitting. Now, there's no way that Morgana can take two hits right in a row. Or maybe she can't attack the same person twice? Maybe. Oh, yeah, that's a nice number. She has a lot of hit points. I mean, she's a boss, duh, but... Oh, well, we also have to wait for events and such. That's true. Hang in there. Oh, no, 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 that's bad! Oh, no, you have been... Dazzled, you can get tech critted now. Right. Okay, you get back up. <laughs> I, I mean, I can't take the time to do anything. I have to do this. Right. Thanks. Hey, are you okay? Excellent. Good job on. She is all over that hottie sin. <laughs> okay, so Raccoon to war off. Persona. No, it's still active. She went down, so her Tyro Kaja wore off. Mm, okay. Ugh. This is. Uh oh. Okay, got it. How far did it fly up? What's it gonna do? Don't tell me. Is it gonna dive attack us? Yeah, I'm not stupid. I'm gonna block this time. Massive assault dive. Oh, but will Makoto survive it even if she blocks? She's pretty low. I know. I really would like to be able to try and heal her, but... But this might just be almighty damage. like with Yeah, no, I'm, yeah. I'm blocking. Yeah. I don't think she will, but I don't know how much time I have, so I'm going to sacrifice yeah. one person to this That's in fair. order to get information. Yeah, yeah. Uh, see, with, it's really convenient with this party because everybody is capable of good healing. Yeah. I mean, I never even used Tarunda for some mysterious reason. Damn that thing! When's it gonna strike? Okay, so we do get a turn. Just like with the Piggytron. Yeah, so you've got a turn to heal. <gasps> it's still not attacking? Man, that's kind of frustrating! Oh god, what if it... What if it's random? How many turns it waits? Probably. That would make sense. Make your buffs wear out. I remember talking about that back with Kamoshida. Oh. Holy crap! I got too reckless. Go back out and focus on support. All right, so it is physical damage because Gino didn't take any. You're right. That is horrible. Ah. <laughs> uh. Like you have to, oh my god. Okay, this time. Persona. What? Don't freak out. We're good. Well, it's intimidating, don't you think? A little bit? 
Of course it is! isn't good I can't tell at all when it's gonna attack yeah you can't tell that's not helping you have to tell us Mona I can't help it there are some things that even I can't do wow he admitted it <laughs> ah, I see and now Futaba's gonna come in so this is inside my heart. You can't just walk in your own palace! I didn't see why you couldn't. Just like I thought! Yeah. But I remember some people in the comments have been like, no you can't. They probably just said that to, so, to throw us off. By God, I don't see why you couldn't! I didn't think it'd be like this. So she's sort of seeing a different bit of scenery. The security doesn't affect her. Yeah. Because this is clearly the area we were just yeah. in, just without all the darkness and... Yeah. Well, she's the ruler. Oh. Huh? She's having to confront her own memories. Because Shadow Futaba, who is not fighting anybody right now... Right. Shadow Futaba wants Futaba to do this. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember... This is the suicide note. The men in black suits read it right after mom died. So she did have a suicide note then. That's correct. Look at the next one. Wait! If Futaba's mother worked in cognitive science, and she died, and the men in black are government officials, this could have all been a sham to make her have a palace. Yeah, whether make her have a palace or research whatever it is that leads to... No, 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 you're right, you're right. To research what happens, because she was the first incident of... Was it a psychotic breakdown? I think I just, it was... I can't, keep, I can't keep it straight. Right? Because as far as we've been basically given in the game, there hasn't... There hasn't really been a distinction between the two? I mean, they, they haven't spent enough time with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, that is probably the case. At the very least, there's a connection. Yeah, it's suspicious that they read it to her. This... This is... When Mom jumped in front of that car. Okay. That's right. Now the next. I mean, a suicide note and then you fling yourself in front of a car? That is pretty odd. Yeah. No. Don't run. I thought you made your mind up after you talked to the Phantom Thieves. Okay. I'll look. I, I really, really like that her shadow is supporting her. Yeah! So different. But, I mean, thinking about it like that, it's not like... Maybe it's not like it was really ever any different for the others. Yeah, yeah, I know. I see it's what you're just saying. that the sort of activities they were doing and the, the, the sources of their distortion made it so that were a bit more violent and kind of more than a bit evil, yes. you know? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. It's me complaining. Mom scolded me for bothering her. And and one last thing that I won't bring this up again, but I mean the cognitive science deal just makes me think about Persona One for like the three people out there who played <laughs> that. It's not yes. the same, but. I knew it. It was me who killed Mom. No! I was a bad daughter. I weighed her down and she hated me for it. It's just like I remember. Oh, you poor thing. I mean, it feels like anything we say is just too flippant. Yeah. What can we say? Are you sure? Huh? Remember everything. Don't avert your eyes. When did this happen? Just a little before Mom died. I whined about wanting to go on a family trip. But she scolded me and said no. Was that all she said? Mom said, I'm too busy right now. I need to finish my cognitive research as soon as possible. And what did you do? I threw a tantrum, told her she thought her research was more important than I was. That's when she scolded me. 
What did she say afterwards? There was more. I really like this. It's like dredging it all mm -hmm. up. Like face the whole thing, not just your guild. Yeah. Uh, did she say... My research is almost over. Once it's finished, we can go wherever you like. And that makes a big difference. Yeah. I'm sorry I've left you alone for so long, Futaba. Please try to understand, though. This research is really important. I need to complete it. Even if it costs me my life. Well, I see where the second half of the game is going. Mm-hmm. Did she hate you? She didn't? And I mean, the trauma forced her memories to, to be repressed, so she didn't remember everything about right. it. What? She smiled. Ah, my head, it hurts. Which is true. Your memories. And this, of course, this is the distortion. Yeah. Huh? It's calling me? Huh. The monster. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> we're facing that distortion down right now. Are you going to show up? Probably. The hell? We ain't doing shit to it. We moved the life bar a little bit. <laughs> huh? Yep, she, really came, she really came all the way. You came into your cognitive world? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the person themselves coming into their own palace? If that happens... Yes. I mean, that's obviously really important. But, I mean, she's even confronted her own shadow. Her yeah. shadow confronted her yeah. in the real world. Yeah, exactly. On top of that, the cognitive ruler confronted her in her own world, too. Yeah. In the real world, so... That's... This is just one weird palace <laughs> that basically all Morgana can get out of it. You killed her! I suppose this is also maybe something of a far more exceptional case than normal. Mm -hmm. After all, her mother was deeply involved in cognitive science. Futaba already knew about the cognitive world. On top of that, she'd even already spoken with the Phantom Thieves, enticing them in, and the Shadow is cooperating with the Phantom Thieves and with Futaba. It's all so freaking weird and different. This is not normally how any of this can or even should go. So. Right. Don't you say something? It's your fault. It's my fault. No! It's my fault that mom... Fight it! That's right. You killed me. Wait. Is that monster her mother? You... They didn't really have any way of knowing for sure. Yeah, but it, they could have been able to guess. Futaba's desires and guilt must have distorted her cognition of her. The wish that her mother was alive again is mixed in as well. Along with those eerie jeers. I mean, were those jeers ever real? You're nothing but a demon who stood in my way. I wish you had never been born. That's probably her cognition of the lawyers reading the suicide note or whatever. Perhaps. Maybe, yeah. That way I could have announced my results without having to waste my time on you. Man, for somebody with a really troubled childhood, having having like your your idea of an of of all the bad about your parents, like wrapped up into one terrible monster. Yeah. I poured my heart and soul into that research. It would have been the discovery of that century. What does she mean by that? Could she be talking about cognitive science? But it's already a thing. People have addressed it several times. Well, we can't say anything else about it, though. But yeah, yeah, that's true. You're going to die. There is no meaning to your life. No one needs you. No 
nobody cares about me. That's not true. I mean, you can't count us. It's not that we don't care, but we don't know her. We haven't been that's there true. for her. I mean, Sojiro. But that's where I was going. You know beyond a shadow of a doubt Sojiro cares for you and Sojiro loves you. Yeah. He's done she everything. Not blood. Yeah, he's done everything for you and he just... He just adopted you. He's not even related. But he's known you his whole life. I mean, your whole life. Y yeah, yeah, yeah. I should never have had Futaba. She was always such a bother. It seems you caused your mother a great deal of trouble, Futaba-chan. See? Yeah. She must have had some kind of maternity neurosis. <laughs> And maternity neurosis sounds kind of BS anyway. Like a made up sort of thing. Well, I mean, there is such a thing as postpartum depression. That's true. God, look at her! Oh. Hey, we're gonna be in deep shit if this keeps up. So, because she thinks she killed her mother, and because she thinks she deserves to die... I mean, we've been talking about this all the time, mm -hmm. or up to this point. Futaba gave birth to a palace where her mother wants her dead? And now she's here in it. Yeah. Right before her mother. Right. Futaba-chan, look! There's no way that monster is your mother! Just like your shadow said, your memory is what's real. It's just an illusion you created! B but She never abused you, did she? Boss told us. He said she did her best to raise you alone. Isn't this a false memory that's been imprinted upon you? A false memory? Yeah. Ah. You made your mother destroy all her research, Vitaba Chan. That's it! Yeah! That's why this happened. She had worked so hard on this well. She lost her mind, and it's all because of you. Okay, okay. They're the ones who made her have the, yeah. the shutdown phenomenon, and they destroyed her research because it was counterintuitive to what they're trying to do. Or it was something they could never let out and are just using for yeah. themselves. Yeah, I mean, we know, like, the, the metaverse cabal. Yeah. Like for all we know, they are they are specifically using her mm -hmm. research. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were probably the people there involved yeah. in, the, in this. It's your fault. Oh, no. um, I, I... It's entirely possible that if this really did happen, these these voices, these people saying this stuff, if it's real, that they did it to force a cognitive effect. Yeah. To, for more research. Right. And that's of course why Sai wants to get her not because Saya knows what's going on really right right we assume but I would assume not but because they that cabal who is Saya's boss mm -hmm. wants her to continue this yeah her meaning Futaba obviously uh, yeah yeah I know what you meant, I but, know what you meant. Pro, but you know pronouns and me pointing and gesticulating it, it does, can't see that yeah it's her shadow Futaba Sakura remember You're the reason she committed suicide. You were just getting in the way of her research. Why did you think it was suicide? Because that's what they told her. Because of the note. That note is totally fake. Yeah! Exactly. The men in black suits read her suicide note to you. And what was written on it? All of her complaints. About me. So that's where it came from. She just completely believed the note because she was afraid it was true. Earlier, she had already thrown the tantrum. Right, right. Yes. The shock and the pain led you to avert your eyes. But they kept reading it aloud in front of your relatives. Ah. Think hard. Was that suicide note real? Would the mother you loved so much truly have written that? Did she ever say such horrible things to you? No! 
She scolded me whenever I had tantrums, but she cared for me. Then what about the suicide note? A total lie! You were used. They forged her suicide note and laid the blame of her death upon you. They trampled all over your young heart. Get mad. Don't forgive those rotten adults. It's because I couldn't face myself. Poor mom's death. Even then, why did they have to yell at me like that? That is going to be a mystery that I would very much like to see solved. Right? But it looks like her reasoning for uh, <laughs> tagging along is uh, rather important and rather personal. Mm-hmm. Utabachan? What denies you is an illusion. A curse put upon you by the heartless. What? You knew from the very beginning and yet, you cowered in fear. Oof, that's right. I knew, but I... She couldn't stand up to it. She couldn't stand up to her relatives. Right. It's all your fault. This time you'll be the one to die. Will you die as you were told? Who will you obey? Cursed words spat out by a seething illusion, or the truth within your own soul? It's your fault! It's all your fault! I won't let those distorted lies deceive me anymore. And I won't be led astray by others' voices either. I'm going to trust my own eyes and my own heart to distinguish the truth from the lies. There's no way you're my mom! You're just a fake created by those horrid adults! Yeah! Woo! I'll... I'll never... I'll never forgive them! That is the attitude to have. I realize we're not saying much, but... I mean, making a cheap joke, right? Right? Oh! Uh... What is that? Oh, how fascinating! <laughs> Woo! What the? What the? Oh. <laughs> now we were talking about the porn, but. Thou art I. The forbidden wisdom has been revealed. No mystery. I see. It's like. Look at that. It's like a UFO. Yeah. Gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Okay, you're going down! Right? This is my heart's world, right? Hacking into my distortion should be no problem for me. That makes perfect sense! She should be really good at this part, at least, <laughs> yeah. in her own palace. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome! Get down with this, then beat the crap out of it! Yeah! <laughs> ah, I get it now. Let's go! <laughs> Time to fire? Um, yes. I can shoot it down. I'm glad that we got a free revive from Morgana. You want me to fire it, right? Uh, who should shoot it? You want me to, I can shoot it down. Uh, uh, she sounds more confident. Fair enough. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have sent Tarunda away, though. Well, that is true, but you really just kind of got to hold out until you shoot her down. Well, guys, I'm looking at the time. It stretched on pretty long, and we've got a lot ahead of us still. The actual boss fight, <laughs> all the scenes afterwards, it's going to take a while. This is going to go on too long, so we're going to go ahead and cut it out right here. Man, aren't you glad I spent all that time fighting those Anubises earlier? No. Nothing like a good cliffhanger, right, guys? No, 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 no. Don't listen to this idiot over here. Hey! We are going to release the second half tomorrow as a big thank you for everyone for your patience during Danganronpa week. Yeah, sorry about this one, guys, but we just don't want it to stretch on to, like, an hour 45, you know? We'll see you tomorrow.